Hi there Daniel, it's Corey here from West Point Autos just doing a quick video tour for you on our Ford Mondeo the turbo diesel one of course so um, I'll quickly run you through the exterior and interior condition of the car kind of pointing out anything I, I do see so um, I'll start with the front bar of the car so I'll get up nice and close for you so you can't see if there is anything worth mentioning so notice there are a few stone chips through here um, through this way, so that part's pretty clean. There's a few chips on the bonnet just there, there's sort of little dots you can see. Nothing major as you can see, but they are there. Into the side of the car. A few little, little scratches, but nothing major. Let's have a quick look for any dints. Does look pretty, pretty good in terms of dints. You can see this alloy wheel is in good condition. Some scratches, some small scratches on the rim just there. Always in good condition. You see, so that's that side of the car. I'll bring it onto the other side. This one does have a few scratches on it, this alloy wheel, as you can see. Coming on this side of the car now. Again, no real dints, a few minor little scuffs here and there, but nothing major. Then, tiny little marks. This alloy is in good condition as well. It's a tiny little mark on that side, but otherwise it's in good condition. So it's only really one out of the four that's a little bit scratched. Back. And it's in good condition as well. No real dints or scratches through there, as I can't see. You do have your own parking sensors down there as well. If they open good for you. So that is that, that hatch I was talking to you about. You mentioned your mate has an XR5. So lots of space in there, which is really good. So that's, oh, sorry. Well, yeah. Quickly, set up the spare tire in there. It doesn't look like it's brand new, but it's in good condition. Tops are in a nice condition, not ripping or tearing, which is good. To the rear seats of the car now. The door cards, the scratches on them. You can see the seats, bolsters are in good condition, no rips or tears, no real marks as well, which is good. Bring it onto the other side. As you can see, in good condition on this side as well. You do have a 12, uh, 12 volt power port down there. See? All electric windows. The windows aren't tinted either, they just have a, a light film on them from factory, but no actual window tint. So I'll bring you inside the car now and drive aside and I'll show you a few things in there. So it does have its, its books there, we'll go through the service history first. So it looks like it was owned by Custom Service Leasing, Export Park Brisbane Airport, so it looks like it might have been a lease, a lease car. So look at the 
actual service history. So the initial ones were done on time, that's good. Then we got one day 6,000 and then Westport Auto is there as well. We did the last service when it came into our stock at 82,000 kilometers. So that's service history there, so it's good all its books. As you can see, the car has done 82,000 kilometers around about. That's your instrument cluster up there. Revs on the left, speed, speed on the right. That's the steering wheel, you have your volume controls there. Cruise control settings as well. Yeah, with the actual dash of the car. So up the top you got your hazard lights, also your parking, if you want the parking assist or not. Also ESP. You do have your Bluetooth and six stacker CD player there as well. It does have an AUX port, which is actually in the glove box. That little grey dot just there, that is actually the AUX port. And you can see good size glove box there as well. So you got all your radio controls up there. Below that you have your air conditioning controls, you do have dual zone climate control in this one as well. Below that you have a little ashtray, so another 12 volt power port there as well. So that tucks away. Comes into your center, center console. This is a split opening as well. And that bit comes too. Nice and tidy through there. The car does come with two remote keys as well, which is good. In good condition, pretty condition so and then also the, the interior trim looks to be in nice condition as well no major scratches or rips your window controls and also your mirrors there too you get your lock controls here okay so that's pretty much the interior of the car I'll quickly give the engine a start for you Driver door is open. There we go, much happier now. Starts first time, idle's fine. It's a bit noisy with the windows down. See much quieter once you have the windows up as well, so you can see it idles real nice. Parking sensors come on when you're in reverse as well. Okay, so that is the car. As you can see it idles really smoothly. No engine lights on, just a handbrake light, which is really good to see. And that's also the way your stereo lights up. So it kind of lights up in that red illumination there. Little controls there as well. So there you go. So Daniel, that is our video tour on our. Ford Mondeo that we have in stock. As you can see, it is a pretty tight car. A um, few little stone chips, but other than that, in, in good condition. Has a service history. Um, looks really nice in the black as well. Um, starts first time, no issues with the engine. Obviously, all we need to do now is just come and physically take it for a test drive. Then, um, obviously, we'll see where we can go from there. So, thank you for watching, Daniel. Thank you for your time. I uh, hope to talk to you soon.